get here like we did. You travel with a different crew, so let's go ahead and get this. Three, two, one, go! Man, this is this is one of the matches that I wanted to see, man. And right. we've seen it in round five. Man, all right. So, like I said, the last time I see, I've seen Sunny play, it was against Nevin. He played really well. Um, I think he won three one. Um, so we're gonna see what's gonna, gonna happen here. I mean, last time these guys met was ages ago. Though. I yeah. don't think I don't think either one remembers the outcome that well. But it was a spring showdown, or it might have been the wedding. It was one of those. One of those I, I wasn't able to attend. Unfortunately, but hey, we're here. We living though. All right, here we go, dude. This match is, is anticipated. Um, man, what is going on? This match is going to determine a lot. This match is for, is for all the roofies, right? All the roofies, man. All them things. So right now, we got Villager, you know, definitely taking the Villager approach. Just kind of keeping Sheik at bay, you know. He doesn't really want her up close, as no character on the rock he does. Uh, just spacing her, I really will. Building that wall of projectiles. Keeping her away, man. Um, and then, of course, uh-oh. Oh, dodge sudden death right there. And then we know we got Sheik trying to get in, trying to take the Mike Tyson approach. Just lay it on thick. Keep uh keep Skillager, you know, up up close and personal. And I think Skillager made a mistake there. He left the safety of the of the edge. I mean he was doing pretty good on there, but wasn't getting touched that well because of the projectile. But now City Boo's getting hit. And Whoa, whoa. Very unfortunate. Very unfortunate right now. And Cody's sitting in a very comfortable six six percent. Well only I mean, with, with two stocks, I mean, Cindy Boo's only at one with zero. I mean, he has to, he got to get Villager out here. Unfortunately, she goes for a lot of stage spikes, and you can't kill Villager with a stage spike until like 166%. So keep chipping away at him. Man, and you know, Cindy Boo might not know this, but he's very familiar with the matchup. Yeah. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, and that plays against Skill you know, all the time. Uh, it's one of the main, you know, grand finals we see in, in Omaha. Uh, so the, he's very familiar, so I mean, Doing what he normally does in his work. Yeah, absolutely. The, the, the familiarity is definitely there. Um, it's definitely going to be definitely uh definitely going to be difficult to kill him. Um, Villager, you know, at 125 percent, just hanging in there, having fun. You know, looking like a cakewalk for him. You say, you know what, man? You know, it's going to take a lot more than uh what you're throwing at me to kill me. Um, Ooh. oh, almost a stage. Right. Man, let's talk about Villager. It's it's. it's he just, he just tumbled man, through the air, man, and it hurts. Man, he just, that move just takes so much priority over just everything that you're doing right now sometimes. It's super difficult. Um, he's trying to go for the hardest of the redirect, and it's not, it's not, it's not, it's not going to cut it. And like I said before, this match is going to prove a lot. Uh-oh, he said, nah, 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 no bowling ball, my man. And here's the thing, man. Sheik is having problems with what she always has problems with. Finish. Yeah, she's just so light. I mean... But then again, though, we also have Villager. He's tapping oh. the rate. Oh, and yeah, that'll do it. Like I said before, man, you get him to like about that 100, 150 plus. I mean, he's using stage spike. And he's, he's, got, he's got him, man. And, and City Boo's trying to rack in damage. And he's playing a little bit more defensively than it was at the beginning. You know, normally uh, City Boo plays uh, quite aggressive right now. He's actually, you know, using the shield, waiting for that Lloyd Rocket to pass him. And, you know, just being very good. Yeah. Absolutely. Having a super blast right now. All right, she's right now 83%. Um, all is not lost for her right now. She's only about a halfway there um, between her and uh, and Villager. So Cindy Boo can definitely bring this one back. She has to watch out for those wall of projectiles. She really only has, I mean, one and a half if you count the grenade. You know, she really just has the needle, but the needles don't really affect Villager at all. He just can't pocket the needles at all. Good thing for us. For, uh, you know, Cindy Boo, he can't pocket it. Uh, but right now, he's, he's struggling to get that damage. Uh, Villager also, you know, staying get back, you know, spacing out with those rockets and doing what he has to do. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, I'm kind of glad that he can't pocket the needles because those charged needles thrown back after a pocket, I feel like those would just kill all off rip. They would just kill off rip. Okay, that was very close. Um, Cindy so has to watch out for that, uh, you know, that opposite man. Whoa! Whoa! Whoa. <laughs> through, the, through the stage! Wow! What the heck? He got poked! He got poked! He, he said in. the turn up don't stop. All right. The turn up does not stop for anybody. Mm -hmm. Just went through the stage. Nope. Poked him in the end. And, uh, in the you know where. And, and, yeah, sure, sure, sure. And, and it was done. It was game over. That was game over. And we were headed to game two. And we're over oh, going to Dreamland. Okay. All right, cool, cool. Um, cool. You know, I feel like, you know. I probably wouldn't have went here on Sheik, but you know, you don't really get a get a say. Um, you know, the, the ceiling is just so high, and the blast zones are just all over the place. And 
Sheik just was not hitting very hard like she does it. It's just very hard for her to get those kills, especially on a fully character and a character with an awesome recovery like Vildra. Um, but also since the stage is so big too, the slingshots, they don't really stretch far across. Um, so we just really have to see on who really wants it more is really what it comes down to. Oh man, and, you know, City be playing a lot better, man. Doing what a what a top player does, um, he's adapting. Yeah, the win is definitely going to play a factor in uh, Sheik's offstage play. Because he's going to want to try and go for those bouncing fishes, those fares, and all that jazz. But unfortunately, with the with Mr. Whiskey Woods, he's just not really going to have it. He's going to try and keep you blown away. And finally, what I've been wondering this whole uh, last match is, when is uh, Sengu going to use that shield against that, uh, that uh, slingshot? He's not using it. Right. Better late than never. But never late is better, though. True, true, true. And you're sitting with a lot better. But, you know, liking the grenade a lot, I... You know, Sinny would obviously plays different than any other Sheik play that I've played. And I've never seen Whoa. him use the, uh, the grenade. Oh, my game. goodness. Whoa. And the bouncing fish will do it. And we hear an exciting scream by Sinny Boo. And he's like, man. A little, little bit of pop off. Hey, a little got bit. a little bit of pop off, man. Just a little bit. But that's okay, though. But it's all, it's all love at the end of the day. We're he's, all friends out there. Yeah, he's just something some in the line of sort of, woo. Oh, I think what he meant to say is, ah, got him. Right. That bowling ball. Oh, the, the Nairs are just all over the place. The Nairs is filling in all the guys, making it hard for Sheik to approach and get anything set up right now because that Nair just takes so much priority over yes, everything Sheik does. But Sinny would play very carefully, man. He's shielding, shielding. Not getting hit as much as, you know, he was last game. Yeah. But still, that damage. Yeah, still that damage. Discuss the damage. Confirm the damage. It's there. Trying to pop villagers' balloons. You know how difficult it is to pop the balloons and not hit villager afterwards. It's super difficult. Here goes. Uh, Sinibu doing a great job, um, but CJ gets back on her neutral game in the middle. Still, Sinibu had two stars. Man. They were struggling to get that last game. Was it with the pot? He's like, you want to buy a little pot? Right. Sinibu says no. Right. <laughs> he said, not today. <laughs> he said, man, I'm back in the Right. Absolutely. Still, man, uh, still just struggling to get that stock. Just really difficult. I mean, and this is something that, you know, you got to watch out of because, you know, Rage Sheik, you know, is something that you don't want to do with because she's she's in Rage right now. Uh -oh. Oh. 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 oh! oh! Very unfortunate. We have a two stock victory. Sinibu242 takes that one. And here, um, you know, I, I think that Sinibu just sat down and, you know, just happened to uh, Cerebro. He just he just tapped into Cerebro, man. Uh, definitely, uh, the mind games are real right now. Uh, he was just kind of scared to get back on, and, and you know, Charles, Charles, you are supposed to protect them, Charles. You us, we are the future, Charles, not them. They don't want them out of. And that is that is the the tapping into the Cerebro. Cerebro, we had a seat in the chair and say, no, it's time. And just like this, this one's for all the roofies right now. And Round dude, five. Man, this is the most intense game, man, dude. I just, I'm really hyped for this. I, I want to live tweet right now, but I don't want to. I don't want to move my hands. If I if I do anything, I'm gonna go ahead and miss it. Here we go. Um, and she going in, going, uh, giving the hands. Giving the hands, giving the hands the feet and the whole kit and caboodle right now. Builder at 32% right now. It's really hard for him to build that wall of projectiles on the on this this stage like you know lilac. Man, you real. Fair, oh, bouncing fair, fish. Fair. Get back, get back on it. Whoa. Oh. So we take those. We take the oh slingshot. We take those. Oh my goodness. A fantastic display of spacing from both fighters right now. The best I've seen in all my days of playing Smash. I've been playing Smash for a long time. So huge, fantastic display of spacing, um, you know, from these uh, tournament players here, professional players, whatever you want to call them. They're here for all the marbles, all the roofies, all the dollars, the coins, the rings, whatever, whatever you want to call it. That's what they're here for. Ladies and gentlemen, this is We Live in 3. Cineboo 242 versus BFG Skillzer. Skillzer, excuse me, that is Blind Fire Gaming. If you're watching, huge shout to you guys. Um, right now, both players evenly matched, evenly skilled. We got Villager right now. He's just, you know, building a wall of, of, of defense, making it hard for a Sheik to approach. But Sheik is like, hey, if there's a will, there's a way. Um, right now, he's chipping away at Villager, kind of making it super difficult for her to, Definitely going to come on right through. Um, so, with that being said, Man, Sheik, 
quite even, man. Quite even. Yeah, only only a 10% differential right now. So Villager definitely brought it back right now. And look, now Villager's back in the lead by 2%. So right now, it could go either way. It's really hard for me to say who has a massive advantage because everybody in the mama hates Lilac. Um, it, just ma it makes everybody's play style change up with how, you know, twisty and turning the stage is. Up there, nope. Goes for the vantage. Right. The Villager answers back with a slingshot. Yeah. The ninja vantage is not quite enough here. Yeah, this game is very close, still on first stock. I would say she could be wise to not try and get up underneath that stage because I don't think that her vanish really helps her too much when the ledge is like the way it is at, at Lilac. So. Whoa! Oh, the ball is Whoa! Hits it right in the dome. That'll do it right there. The Lloyd Rocket to the Forest Mask will do it on the top platform. And just like that, Cindy Boo got some catching up to do. He's Cindy Boo catching up to do. Hey, if anybody can do it, it's Cindy Boo, man. Do you, Boo Boo. All right. Both players tapping to that focus, man. They're going in. Cindy Boo, whoa! Laid it on thick. Ooh, not oh, quite enough right now. Rage Villager right now is in full effect, and she's just not, not with the kill power that she needs to do what she has to do. CJ needs to milk this stop, man. Has to milk it for everything, really. Goes for, for the bounce of fish, not connecting. Like, nope, no fish in the day. No fish in the day, man. Goes for the hardest of reasons not getting, man. CJ almost hit. I'll buy that. Oh, and like I said before, man, make it. Oh, oh the first match will do it. Barely caught it. The heels did it. Those must be Jimmy Choo heels. All right. The down throw. They're getting it set up right now. Still perfectly evenly matched right now. This match right now is going to determine a whole lot right now. Cody, I mean, it's the same dude. He beat MJG in, in Kansas. So, I mean, he has a, a pretty pretty decent record right now playing out of state. Good guy. So, let's go ahead and see how it's going to go. Cindy Boo as well has a very, very awesome record with out of state people. So, let's, let's see how it goes. Man, the both players playing very intensely right now. They know this is for all the marbles, man. Is, is Bill going to find a fossil today or not? I don't know. There's a lot online right now. I mean, this isn't live stream, but it is being recorded. So, this, it will go up tomorrow. So, there, there's no hiding from the screen. Man, he connects the, he connects the, uh, the up there. And it was, oh, wonderful. It was beautiful. Yeah, absolutely. Turn, turn up, don't stop for nobody. It doesn't, never. Especially not today, it's Saturday. All right. Okay, the slingshot keeping Sheik at bay, making it difficult for her to come back. Um, right now, though, Cody with those nares and these platforms, I mean, he could just nair through it, making it difficult because a lot of Sheik's combos start off with short hop and then in, into other combos and moves. Trying to go for the vantage, but, you know, Cody's not going to fall for that. Like you said, the matchup with Sheik is very familiar to Cody. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, as it should be to any pro player, you should know the Sheik matchup. I mean, that should be the number one matchup you learn this offering. Everybody's going to use Sheik. A lot of people go Sheik, a lot of people go Diddy. Learn those matchups, man. They'll help you out in the future, man. Save you a lot of pain and a lot of embarrassment. Oh, here we go. This could be it. No, oh. Let's get jump. Oh, oh my Great goodness. Hand. Throws his whole body into that one. Uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. oh. Not connect. perfect air dive. Uh-oh, they're both both in kill percent right now. One good hit from either of these two guys, and you're done. This is anybody's game right now? This is anybody's game, ladies and gentlemen. We're Whoa! Oh, Whoa! The and ball that's going to do it. The bowling ball is going to do it. Game over. Oh, that's a strike. That. That's a turkey. Villager.